That'd be Byron Bay. I uh, went there on the mid-season break this year and I have in previous years too. And uh, fortunately my fiance couldn't make it so I had to go up there with a few of the boys this year. We went to Darwin actually last week with the reserves, so I hadn't been there before, so it was, um, it was nice to get up there and it was, it was a lot nicer than I expected. I love going up to Byron Bay, um, you know, relaxed lifestyle, great weather and the beaches are fantastic. Uh, Coogee Beach in the eastern suburbs. Probably the Kimberleys and Darwin too that really tickle my fancy. I learnt this in my second footy trip at Essendon and that's not to drink too much on long haul flights. I always try and get to the airport a bit earlier so I can get an exit seat, especially when I'm going back, back home to Ireland. Um, it's a long flight and it's a lot longer if you're cramped up in those small seats. <laughs> I think it's always important to be organised and prepared for anything that may happen and um, always be on time. Getting yourself um, on time ahead of travelling. So for myself travelling back to Canada, it's five or seven hours difference, so I try and stay up late a few nights before I take off. Meet a local that you think you might have something in common with and ask them for advice and tips as to where to go and what to do, because those brochures are always seem to be pretty corny. Oh, you could get quite a few little OCD things, but um, nothing major, just kind of the same same undies and same little routine, but it's, it's all pretty boring. I have a pair of budgie smugglers with a little shamrock on the front of them, so I wear them under my shorts in every game. Uh, I always wear the same socks, shorts and swimmers. Try to not have any superstitions, which I guess is superstitious. No real nightmares. Uh, last year I was fortunate enough to go over to Russia and uh, the cabbie ripped me off in the uh, the airfare. I think I paid a couple of hundred to get, you know, from the airport into town, and I knew I was getting done. And that, yeah. So I wish I could get that back. Nightmare travel stories. I was on the way to London uh, with the Collingwood Football Club at the time. Um, we were playing an exhibition game there at the Oval, and we had turbulence on the plane for probably two, two and a half hours, and I think we dropped. At one stage, I don't know, 300 metres or something like that. It was just crazy. Uh, I'd love to sit next to um, Ricky Gervais. It'd be an absolute pleasure to sit next to him and just on a long haul flight and just let him go and just hear him talk. And I guess that'd be the highlight of the trip. Doesn't matter where, where I'm going. Emma Watson. Uh, Kelly Slater. It'd be, it'd be nice to talk to him about the destinations he's been to and all the surfing that he's done. Uh, Buddy Franklin. Barack Obama, that'd be kind of cool. I don't like to talk too much on the flight, so maybe uh, Jeff from the Wiggles. 